Normally, when people write on dirty cars, it might say "wash me" or have a friendly message, but this message was far from it. This woman, who we will call Carmen because she does not want to be identified, discovered a message in Spanish written on her truck, saying she will be kidnapped if she does not come up with thousands of dollars. She immediately called police, but was disappointed in how they handled the situation. He didn't give me a case number. He didn't even say you'll have the report. Ready tomorrow? He didn't tell me anything. We asked police if this was true that Carmen was not given a case number at the scene, and surprisingly, they agreed. It's possible that、uh, that she was not given any any of those、uh, case cards. Police say the department had actually just run out of case cards, but the officer documented the incident back at the station. Carmen also claims that police never checked the truck for fingerprints, even though the threat appears to have been written with someone's finger. We also asked police if this was true. The procedure it is、uh, it is to be fingerprints to be taken, ma'am.、Uh, I don't know what happened.、Uh, Things that、uh, happen too fast. Carmen says she is terrified for herself and her family because of this threat, and feels Progreso police did not give her any peace of mind. He mentioned it could have been a joke, but to me, this is not a joke. This is to be taken seriously. Do you think that Progreso police isn't taking you serious? I'm very much thinking that. We're taking this very seriously, ma'am. We're taking it since we're very close to the to the border. We're taking it very seriously. However, after our interview, we received these photos of Captain Rodriguez and another officer doing none other than taking fingerprints—something that police admit should have been done from the very beginning.